Meanwhile, Russians and Ukrainians are performing together in cities across the United States. The Russian Ballet Theater now goes by RB Theater, a show of solidarity with Ukraine. The group performed Swan Lake tonight at the State Theater in Minneapolis. WCCO's Adam Duxter shares how taking the stage provides temporary peace while a war rages at home. For the performers of the RB Theater Group, the stage can be an escape during their 60-day tour of Swan Lake. As soon as they are on stage, they are Rothbard or a jester. He brings that hope and happiness. Something producer Gulia Hartwick says is now needed more than ever. Each one of, the, of our cast and crew member has someone very important close to them in Ukraine right now. Including the jester himself. I think about, about my family each and every second, you know. Stuck on tour while members of his family are stuck in his home of Kyiv making the last nine days a cycle of performance, travel, and nonstop check-ins. Sometimes you get good news, sometimes you get bad news. Uh, you feel happy and mad and sad in the same time. All on a team of Ukrainians and Russians who say they're now performing for peace. They dance literally with uh, tears in their eyes. Nobody from the audience should not know about what's happening. You don't be able to show your emotional feelings. Their show at the State Theater. A statement the two countries can unite for good. They work and live as, as one team, as this one, um, one organism. We are taking you from the real world into our fairy tale for two and a half hours. Um, you need it. We all need it. So let us do it. In Minneapolis, Adam Duxter, WCCO 4 News. RB Theater says it is not affiliated with any government, but it is committed to the Russian ballet practice.